Jonathan Jordan. Uh, first off, I, I want to say congratulations. I don't know if you are aware or not, but uh, the state's all-time leading scorer and, and points getter for the state. You passed Todd Day from the University of Arkansas. As you did that today in an impressive fashion as uh, 28 points. And, and you guys knock off a, a team that was one of the top teams in the conference tonight. Yeah. Well, first off, that's a huge honor. Um, very appreciative. I wasn't aware of it until like last week. Yeah. Um, it, it got out there, and and so that's a huge honor. This is a great state. A lot of great players have been here, so it's just truly an honor for me. And then, yeah, we we played a complete team game, and it started on the defensive end. And so that's something we've been preaching in in, in practice, and this coach been preaching. And so that really led to our offense and transition. And I got us flowing in the second half. You know, in the first half, they they really kind of sh- were trying to shut you down. And I, I was just talking with Sammy. Really, midway through, you only had four points and yeah. two of seven shooting, but you were doing it from the free throw line. What were they doing that uh, really was limiting you there in the first half? Yeah, um, just over these four years, I've seen every type of defense that, yeah. that can be thrown at me. And so they were just face guarding. They didn't want to let me catch. They didn't want to let me come off screens uh, or even touch the ball. So I knew I just had to uh, get be physical back with them and just get into them. And, and, and if they're restricting my cutting, I know I'm going to get a one-on-one. And so, and so that's, that's a good way to get in the flow, get in the free throw line. And then after that, some shots started flowing, and, and my teammates were finding me. You know, in the second half, what we were talking about, rebounding was key in the second half. You guys did a much better job in the second half. Mm-hmm. But real, this shooting, you guys caught fire. When you look at the second half numbers, uh, from the three-point line, uh, you shot 44%, and, and from the field, 63%. Yeah. That's a pretty good second half. Yeah, when we get it rolling, we're a dangerous team. And when we're hitting on all cylinders, like Thatch was hitting, Maddie was hitting, uh, Hayden was playing big, Matthew was playing huge. Everyone was really contributing. And so when we get in that flow and share the ball and get in transition, then we're really hard to stop. And so that's what we did really well in the second half. You still got one more game left. You got senior day. And the the crowd here at uh, the Fair Center, they, they they were really getting into it here in the second yeah. half. But senior day is going to be a whole nother monster. They're, last time you're going to play, what are your thoughts initially on, on senior day? Uh, it's been a crazy journey. I'm just so blessed to be here, uh, to have this opportunity to build this program and to be with, the, with with some of my best friends and, and guys I'll know for the rest of my life and a great coaching staff. So it's so bittersweet. I love it here. Um, I love the fans. I love the atmosphere. I love everyone surrounding the program. And so it's going to be it's gonna be tough. It's going to be very emotional. But at the same time, we got a job to do, and I know we're going to do it well. But um, I'm just so blessed and thankful to be here and, and over these past four years. Well, good news is it's not going to be the last game for you because you got Southland Conference Tournament uh, yes, uh, play coming up. Yes, and and – you, know, you win tonight. That was that was a big step. You win tonight, and then uh, Abilene Christian or McNeese lose, and you punch your ticket. And yeah. uh, Abilene last check, they were losing their ball game. So yeah. uh, just being able to get to the tournament, you know, in your final year, what's yeah. that mean? It's huge. I mean, especially two years in a row. I don't think that's ever been done in this program. And so we just keep setting milestones, and that's what we really set out to do when we came here. We wanted to change the culture. We wanted to build something that a legacy that that could last and continue. And so. I feel like our seniors have really built that, and Coach Russ has done a great job uh, recruiting character guys, and so we're just super excited, and we know when we get to that tournament, it's zero and zero. Uh, we can beat anybody, as you, as you saw tonight, and so when we're playing like we know we can, we're hard to beat, and we're excited to get in that tournament. Jordan Howard, thanks so much, and congratulations on the win today. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Appreciate you. Jordan. Matthew Camba joins us, and boy, Matthew, I, I tell you, you guys, uh, a spark was lit in the second half, and I don't know what Coach said to you in the locker room at halftime, but uh, you guys came out on fire in the second half. Uh, I think is, oh, we just had to uh, we had to get this one. This was an important game going to the tournament. Momentum booster down there. We were up like twelve or something like that. They came back. We were without Hayden. This game they have to account for him. And they're face behind Jordan, so that got everybody involved. And Coach drew up some plays, like stop moving the ball around, and then Jordan got a shot at the end. They really couldn't stop it. So. You know, in the first half, when they were face guarding Jordan and, and really he couldn't get off of uh, of defenders, you really stepped up in the first half making plays. It seems like everybody, when when he w- wasn't able to get his shots off, you guys kind of rallied around and, and found ways to get shots and, and, and get open looks. Yeah, we, we just knew, like, if they take it away, he's eventually going to get his shots. He's going he's gonna to get his. They can't, they can't stop him. So if we helped and, like, maintain, like, the composure to like keep us steady and all that. We knew like once he got his shots, we just get going. And we're hard to stop if we're scoring in our defense. I I, I got to ask you, we there was an open look for you in the second half down on the left side of the baseline, and and I was sitting there looking at it. And I said, 
I, I told Sammy, I said, Tampa's wide open down the left side, and, and they threw it to you, and you put it in with a ferocious right hand. That kind of, for the second half, set the tone, essentially, for how that second half was going to go. Oh, uh, yeah. My teammates were out there talking, calling me old. <laughs> and that, cause I, don't, I don't dunk in warm up to like, try to show off. So they was really talking. So I was mad. I was like, okay, I'm going to show them. <laughs> so I just had to put it on his head. So. Hey, uh, real quick before we let you go, momentum. This this is a huge momentum swing for you guys. You knock off Sam Houston State. You still got one more game with Northwestern State on senior day. Uh, you got to ride that momentum now as you're getting ready for the tournament as well. Yes, sir. Yeah, we can't overlook them. They're a tough team. They got good players. But we just got to come on to play. And if we do that, we should be all right. Matthew Camba joining us here after the ball game as the Bears won at 88-70. Congratulations. Thanks so much.